goes beyond the theory of evolution. They get thrown out too. Yeah. Look at Galileo and these people who, who first said that the earth goes around the sun. For many years, all these people go to school, they memorize certain things, and they don't want to give it up. You're very brave. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have my husband's financial support. I haven't made any money out of this. I was involved in research, and uh, I couldn't give it up. Let's dream for a moment. Let us suppose that your discoveries and your work became accepted. What's going to be different? The implication of being accepted, I hope that the money that is wasted on Einstein's predictions and on these other things will go to the alternate energy. It is the highest priority in my mind to have alternate energy. So understanding Kepler's laws, the correct analysis of it and implications would facilitate that? It has nothing to do with my work, the alternate energy. It's just my own hope. I hope because the future of humankind depends on it. We are eventually going to run out of oil. And we need clean energy. And we have wasted a lot of money in the wrong direction. So if gravitational force of the sun becomes accepted in science, what will change? All these textbooks that they're teaching and the authors of the textbooks, they are not going to let that happen because they're making money out of their books. The authors of the textbooks in physics and in astronomy, they don't want my work to get accepted because they're making money out of these things they're teaching. How can I be compared with so many centuries of Newton and Einstein, even though what they say is not correct? So what if we say goodbye to Einstein, we say goodbye to Newton, and then what? Will we understand the planets differently? No. Kepler, the laws that he wrote, not the second law, I have the the paper that I gave you that is going to be published in June in Physics Essays. What he said, whatever Kepler said, was based on observation. Clear. That's clear. But what Newton said and what Einstein said was not based on observation. What do you think about quantum mechanics, quantum physics? I have proof that gravitation is quantized. I have very highly significant proof for both planets and the satellites of the planets in here. Okay. That gravitation is quantized. The space of the next planet, you have one, two, three, or the next satellite of a planet is not haphazard. It follows a a very highly significant rule. So that means that gravitation is quantized. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been speaking with, listening to, and preparing for Perry Spolter, the author of Gravitational Force of the Sun. We will return and meet with her for a video. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your interest in my work. My pleasure.